Young Supply had to be around eight years old. And they wanted me to go see the clowns. And I'm like, are you crazy? They are terrifying. And then as I got older, everybody else realized that clowns are scary. And now they're the scariest thing out there. They're in every war movie. And I'm glad you all caught on. They've been terrifying forever. I don't understand what would possess someone to put on that makeup and hang around children. It is a bizarre thing that really should be studied. And I, I like it. Thank you. <laughs> Fear of capsizing, but I don't have to finagle my way through this because I've been involved in a capsizing or two, and I'll have to save that for another speech because I don't think I can get through one of those in a minute. But there are many opportunities, me as a voter, having been out in the water and been in various storms and had many, many opportunities to have to deal with capsizing. So I will save that for another day. All right. All right. <laughs> Fear of wiping out Toastmaster Blake Smith. <laughs> Fear, as defined by Speaker Zig Ziglar, is an acronym for false evidence appearing real. Fear of wiping out is reality. Let me tell you, I have wiped out on motorcycles. Let me take my shoes off. It, it's happened. It's happened. And usually it's not your fault. You know, you think you can go down the road and finagle your way safely, but you get these zipper heads that just, you know, they don't know what mirrors are for, they don't know what the windshield's for, they don't know to look around, and next thing you know, they're running you up to a curb, and they're you know, coming at you backwards. And, yeah. Moron! That's what they <laughs> So I have a deadly fear of wiping out out on the, out on the street. Past Toastmaster Doug Clark says, ride like you're invisible and they all want to kill you. <laughs> Excellent advice. Great question. <laughs> the fear of snakes. Ah. Toastmaster Allison Richards. Morning. 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 Fear of snakes. Has, has anyone ever been to the Serpentarium in St. Cloud? <laughs> oh, that's an experience. Yeah, I have like a thumb, and you can watch them. Uh, what do they call it when you see the snakes? Milk. 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 Thank you. Milk the snakes. That is an inter inter interesting experience. I'm not going to finagle the experience because you must go there and see what it's all about. I'm not sure that I'm really scared of snakes because I don't really ever see them. I mean, I had one colorful one walk across the driveway one time, but other than that. Um, they can still just stay out of my house. <laughs> <laughs> the fear of heights. Toastmaster Linda Miller. <laughs> Good morning, fellow Toastmasters. Do I have a fear of heights? Absolutely. 100%. As a matter of fact, I think I need therapy. Because not only am I fearful of heights, I'm fearful of tight spaces, being locked in, closed in. I'm fearful of deep water that is so frightening when you're <laughs> on a boat. I am also fearful of getting stuck somewhere. But more than that, I am fearful of losing loved ones. Mm -hmm. I love my family dearly. I track my daughter when she's out of town, when she's getting into Ubers. I always say, just, please, please let me know you're OK. My husband, he drove a little car. I'm fearful that he might go out and get into an accident. He has a truck now, thank God. But yes, I have all kinds of fears. and. I can control the first few that I mentioned, but the ones I can't control is my loved ones. I'm going to hang up for dear life. Oh, Thank you. Right. Okay. Fear of getting in an accident, Postmaster Tim Taylor. Uh, I'm on the schedule, sorry. Oh, all right. Josh Harris. Well, who on earth would want to be in an accident? I think you should be a little bit fearful of this. In fact, I think it's a really good fear to have, because you know what that fear does? 
Right. It stops you from getting into an accident. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're out there on your motorcycle or car or anything else, you're just, yeah, 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 yeah. No, of course not. Interesting topic, fears. I was thinking about this. If you don't have fears, you probably don't take action. If you don't take action, you don't get any results. So I'm actually pretty thankful for my fears. I didn't really think a lot about when I was getting in an accident because, well, obviously I don't want to get in an accident. But fear of heights, fear of failure, fear of snakes, not just those ones in the lawn, but those ones in, in your life, maybe in your business, in the rest of the world. They all stop you, right? Think about it. Those fears will stop you from getting in trouble. You might just finagle your way out of some heavy little jams because of your fears. Embrace them, folks. Mm -hmm. <laughs> my favorite quote uh, in here from Dude, which is, fear is the mind killer, fear is the little death that precedes total annihilation. I see someone mouthing along, uh, so I'll talk to you afterwards about Dude and we'll geek out together. So for the fear of germs, my fear from germs comes from when my daughter started daycare and I spent three months sick straight, not a day off from being sick for those three months. So after I finally recovered, I started taking immunity gummies religiously on a daily basis. And whether they work or not, they work in my head. And so I am going to continue to take them indefinitely because they are working for me. So regardless of what your fear is, move forward, find something that works for you, and do your best. All right. Thank you. The fear of war. Toastmaster, left hair. <laughs> the fear of war. So as I was listening to all of these different fears, I was thinking, wow, I could nail every single one of these. <laughs> one of the only ones I don't spend a lot of time thinking about, probably because my mind is too consumed with fear of everything else. <laughs> beginning, with, beginning with clowns, which I had a bad experience with a clown at age three when I was at the Ringling Brothers and Barnum and Bailey Circus in Madison Square Garden, and a clown came and took my mother's shoe in the middle of this whole enormous production and proceeded to parade around the ring, hopped on the elephant with my mother's shoe, and for some reason it made me absolutely hysterical with panic. And my mom kept saying, it's, I mean, I was three years old, and my mom kept saying, it's okay, Colette, we're gonna get the shoe back. But that clown and his nasty makeup <laughs> taunting me with my mother's shoe is something I still think about to this day. <laughs> so I should probably be more afraid of war, but my mind is too preoccupied with heights, claustrophobia, losing a loved one. I also track my daughters everywhere they go, and the original sin of that clown. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> poison ivy, Mr. Smaster, Mark Taylor. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. You must have started interested in my relatives because poison ivy is something I'm extremely 
tree. Allergic to food. Mm -hmm. Sort of like wasps. Because I had a situation a number of years ago where I was actually cutting grass. And there was a wasp nest under the tree. And the wasp got to be right on the top of my head. <laughs> it wouldn't have been a problem if I was normal. And hey, hey. <laughs> and got pretty embarrassing, but I'm not sure how to finagle my way to a closing.
don't like spiders, my mom is afraid of them as my sister. I try to, I am afraid of more flying insects than I am of crawling insects. Because I'm afraid that they are going to uh, bite me or sting me. So I, whenever a crawling insect comes, I try to snaggle it before my mom freaks out. <laughs> uh -huh. And I get, um, but I'm not as scared, scared of uh, spiders or anything like that. More, okay, more Bullies. Toastmaster Regina for Sunday. Mm -hmm. Now, it happened again. You know the other one's table topic, and you don't know yours. <laughs> <laughs> My biggest fear. By the way, was to be fired by Carmelo oh. a year ago when I started the, 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 the work here. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> but I want to talk about sharks. Okay. I am a, a swimmer. I love my second home is the ocean. And I attract them. And when they are in the sea, and the shark comes right next to me, mm -hmm. this huge thing. And I looked at, oh, how cute! <laughs> and that was then I realized it was a shark. And uh, I've seen, like, right next to me, maybe five, six times, and, but, I, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> <laughs>
really. And then you think about the opportunity. I know for me, I've always stayed away because I have a fear of electrocution also. <laughs> so the idea of an electric eel is just horrifying. So I had to finagle my way out of Orlando, Florida because I had such a deadly fear. I couldn't even function in school anymore. So as a teenager, I moved to Manhattan. And I needed part-time work. And I found a job working at the Ringling Brothers Barnum Band. <laughs> <laughs> and I was challenged to do something I didn't want to do. I'm not proud of it. I stole this woman's shoe <laughs> right in front of her dog. And I've got to tell you, for 40 years, 40 years, it's haunted me. And I've wanted to make amends, collapse my deepest heart. <laughs> Jeff Hood. 